So Norm, usually how I approach this is, you know, when I see a patient, I talk to them about this is a team approach. You know, I'm here. I have the information that I'm, I'm an educator in a sense. I want to make sure that the patient has all of the tools and the, the knowledge necessary to make a educated decision on what the best treatment is for the patient. Obviously, I'm here to help and I make recommendations. Absolutely. What I think. But at the end of the day, you can't take that auto autonomy away from a patient. The patient, I really feel strongly, it needs to be a patient decision on what the patient feels most comfortable with. Part of that is providing comprehensive molecular testing. And that is a complicated thing to explain to a patient. I think you really have to simplify things. At least when I talk to a patient, I kind of talk to them about a, the fact I start very, very simplistically and I ask a question, do you know what DNA is? You know, and lots of times they'll say, oh, yeah, I've heard of it, but I don't really know what it is. Right. And so you can kind of start there with kind of describing metaphorically is usually how I do it. Um, you know, putting it into something that they can understand, um, you know, whether it be, I kind of talk about instruction manual sometimes for the cell uh, that you can get that right. And that this testing is kind of the instruction manuals on how your cancer cells grow, right? And so sometimes we have specific changes in that instruction manual that we have targeted therapeutics for. And that's how I kind of begin the, the discussion about, you know, treatment decisions for, for patients, um, at least in lung cancer.